Hey there guys, so I'm going to be going back to the Beast of the Dark Trial, and this is going to be the budget version. Uh, now it does use some rainbows, but they're very interchangeable, and I'll be showing you the changes you can make to uh, do this. So we need um, a magic cover tank. Now I'm using Bosch. You can use any magic cover tank you want. You can use Awakened Rain, Chow, White Knight Noel. You can even use four star tanks like Mystia or Shield. All that matters is that you've got you've got enough resistance gear to get them to 150% to ice and dark resist and 160 to earth. And then you can use buffs for this. It's easier if you use it just with gear, but using buffs is totally fine as well. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. Fina is going to be our healer. Now you need a healer that can dispel and has AOE re-raised. You don't need re-raise if your DPS is high enough, but if your DPS is not good enough, you are going to need re-raise. So we're using Fina because only 7-star units have re-raise, unfortunately. It's kind of kind of dumb. But um, she's got Earth Resist as well, and you want um, her on Lakshimi for Charm Resistance. Now, if you don't have Lakshimi leveled, you can use Volka instead or someone else to get Charm immunity. Sarah is going to be for the AoE dodge. Now you can do um, Bart or Gy Gyrea as well, but we're going to be using Sarah because she's a three-star unit, and you want to give her some Earth resistance as well. Veritas of the Earth is going to be our evasion provoke tank. Now he's got gear that, um, or evasion gear, I'm sorry. And other than that, he can do things like break immunity, and he can buff our Earth resist, so he's useful for this this role. Uh, Malphazy is going to be our chainer. Now, you can use any chainer you want. We're using Malphazy because she can chain when she chains with the Sephiroth friend. It's going to speed it up, but uh, you can go slower. It's fine. Uh, and she's got bomb arms to help imbue herself with fire to help speed up the Shiva kill. And then the friend we're grabbing is Angel Sephiroth. It's going to be a Sephiroth with a fire weapon to help speed up Shiva. Uh, it's better if you can find one with Varun's TMR for wind imbue. But, um, you know, we're going to go with Sephiroth for now for this. So the missions are deal fire and earth, or fire and wind damage three or more times, summon Tetra and Phoenix, and finish Shiva with an Esper. So we'll be doing all those missions again as well. Oh, there's also going to be an ambush that charms you. Uh, it's going to go on our Fina for the charm, because she has the highest spirit. And she's not immune, but it's okay. We're just going to leave her a charm for the first few rounds. She's not critical for the beginning of the fight. Yeah, so here's the charm. As you see, Fina got charm. No big deal. We're just going to leave her a charm until it wears off naturally. All right, so Sarah is going to retreat command every single turn. Bosh is going to magical cover. Greatest of the Earth is going to provoke. That handles all the damage for us. And now we're going to start just chaining down... Um, Actually, we're going to use Birds of a Feather for the break. And now we'll start chaining down uh, Dark Golem. Now, Sephiroth's going to do very low damage. Uh, the real damage for Golem comes from Malphase because she's using Wind. Now, if you can find a Sephiroth, like I mentioned, with Varun's TMR, that'll be much improved because he can imbue himself with Wind. Or if you can use a different chainer that has Wind, wind uh, imbues. Alright, so she... Fina is still, um, charm, but that's okay. We'll just leave, you know, it'll wear off soon. Alright, so now we're going to Aerial Dive, and we're going to Heaven's Weft. Now, this is not going to deal super high damage, because this is really only from Malphazy. But it should be alright. There you go, no big deal. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and Omni Block for the break immunity. Sarah's going to just retreat command every turn. And really, if Boss not much for him to do, he'll just magic cover again. Alright, so the charm should wear off on Fina this round. So she can finally start pitching in. Alright, there we go. Ch Fina's charm is worn off. So she's going to go ahead and start doing Charm Resistance, so that doesn't happen again. Now we're going to chain on Dark Golem again. 
Now this is going to push the threshold at 80%. So we're going to go ahead and dodge and use Bosch to cover again. And Veritas of the Earth will give us an Earth Resist buff. Now this is going to be a magical AoE Earth attack from Golem, which is going to um, be covered by Bosch. But it does imperil the team to Earth um, by quite a bit. So because of that in peril, we might have problems later, but we're going to go ahead and use Phoenix Guard on Malphazy, and Fina will dual cast re-raise on Sephiroth, and no one else is really, is really at risk of dying, so he'll just do it on Bosch as well. Uh, Veritas needs to provoke again, and we'll do this, and we'll just... We can't hurt the boss right now because they're immune. They go immune to damage for a turn after, um, or every few rounds. Alright. So I believe the defense break is worn off of Golem at this point. Yeah, it has. So we use Bosch's good cooldown break just to make this go nice and quick. Athena uh, will... Let's see. Manatopia for the mana regen. Malphazy will chain with Sephiroth. We might push to 60% threshold here. Oh, we did. Perfect. Okay, so this will be another threshold. Right, we're going to go ahead and Omni Block with uh, Breeze of the Earth for that stat break immunity, and we'll just retreat command again. Alright, there's a charm, but we're immune because um, I blocked Shimi's buff. Alright, we actually do need to charm and resist again. So we'll do that. Uh, they're immune to damage again, so we can't hurt them. So we'll go ahead and just limit with Malphazy for the attack buff. Speed it up a little bit. Uh, Sephiroth will actually imbue himself with Holy. Let's see. He's in the light. Because he is in Paraline, and this will help a little bit on damage. Not much, really. But, you know, every little bit helps. Let's Earth Lord. Do that and let's go ahead and Twilight Guard again. Alright, so we can hurt him again. Let's continue doing our damage. Counters finish. Alright, so Malphazy will Aerial Dive, Sephiroth will Heaven's Whip. Boss still broken from Bosch? He is. So we'll go ahead and chain. Uh, the next threshold is at 40%. Which we might push. We did. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so we need to provoke again. Uh, let's see. Fina will. Oh, not that. Uh, Fina will go ahead and charm resist. I'm not sure when we cast it last. We'll do that. And Bosch will Twilight Guard. Here's the last threshold from Golem. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we will. Uh, we need to dispel them because they put up the immunity buff. Uh, Shiva did. So we'll dispel and we'll re raise on Sephiroth. And we still can't hurt him this turn, by the way. Uh, now, Phasey would we'll just go ahead and use Phoenix for the mission. We need to summon two Espers. 
do that. Uh, that was Bosch's cooldown lucky, not ready yet. So we'll go ahead and just break the stats on Golem. Uh, Sephiroth will imbue himself with Holy again. And we will Omni Block with Greatest of the Earth. Alright, so that was the last threshold. Alright, so this turn you'll notice the bosses are going to, on the end of turn 8, do something called Seething with Malice. There you go. The Seething with Malice thing, that means next turn they're going to pretty much wipe our team. So you need re-raise. It's absolutely imperative. Once the counters finish. Alright, so we're going to AoE re-raise with Fina. Now it doesn't really matter too much what these units do, because they're going to die. Everyone's going to die here. So we're just going to Heaven's Wept and get a little bit, sneak a little bit of damage in. It won't be must move if the boss is not currently broken. Uh, so we'll Twilight Guard. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll do our usual things just, just to do them. But it doesn't matter. Alright, here comes the AoE attack that's going to kill everyone. Alright, well, Sephiroth um, cheated death. That's kind of amusing. Uh, but whatever. Uh, but we actually don't... That's kind of a bad thing, truthfully. Yeah, we actually didn't want Sephiroth to cheat death. So we'll attack him with Malphazy. Uh, with the game glitching out. Looks like it is. Um, here, I'll do this. Let's see. Here we go, fire damage to one enemy. Alright. Thank you for dying, Sephiroth. That's what you were supposed to do. <laughs> Alright, so that's good now. So now we put all our buffs back up. So we're going to Charm Immunity, we're going to Physical, or Magical Cover, we're going to Retreat Command. By the way, the reason we killed Sephiroth is because that, that cleared his stop and all that. Uh, and we're going to Provoke. Alright, so all our buffs are back up now. And now we're going to finish off Gold. Bell of the New Dawn active, it is. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, Shiva will be dying much quicker, by the way, when uh, we're ready to kill her, because Sephiroth was built for killing Shiva. We're using, like, a budget Malphazy is why we're going slower. Alright, so we'll get her next turn. Uh, let's go ahead and Earthen Ward. Athena will Manatopia for the Mana Reach In, and we will Retreat Command. There's the Charm, but again, we're immune. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish off Golem. Now we've done fire and wind damage like a hundred times at this point, so that mission is done. We summon Phoenix, we need to summon Tetra still, but we're going to summon Tetra on the final round. Oh, seriously? Look at this. Okay, whatever. So we'll Omni Block, uh, Bosch will cover. That was, that was annoying. And I guess we'll Charm Immunity. Oh, and the boss went immune to the damage for a turn, too. What a headache. Yep, immune to the damage. Alright, so we're going to imbue Malphazy with fire this turn. We don't need to do pure damage anymore. Uh, let's see. Except we'll just guard. Not much room to do. Uh, we'll provoke. Bosh will break the defense. 
do that, and Manitopia. Alright, so we'll kill Golem next turn when that immunity wears off. Here we go. Alright, we'll aerial dive, and we'll have in swept. Let's go ahead and kill Golem. Finally, speed us up quite a bit now. Alright, there we go. And we've got the last Esper ready to go for when we're ready to finish the fight. So let's go ahead and provoke uh, Retreat Command. Bosch will Twilight Guard, and Fina will Charm Immunity from Lakshmi. Alright, this will be a much quicker clear. Now she does go immune to damage for a turn. And now she starts using an AoE in peril every single turn, but that's the reason you want your magic tank at 150% resist. Alright, so I think the boss, um... Yeah, immune to damage for one turn, that's fine. Uh, so we're going to do Omni Block for stat break immunity. Uh, and yeah, immune to damage. So we'll imbue Malphazy. Sephiroth will just chain because whatever. Uh, Bosch will break the boss's magic and spirit. The spirit break will help Malphazy do like 1% 1% more damage, but not really. Yeah, this next part is all on Sephiroth. But Sephiroth is going to take her out real easy. Alright, now we can hurt Shiva. Oh, Osmos, that's annoying. That'll happen every now and then, it's no big deal. Just keep mana regen going on your tank. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we deal here. Aerial Dive, and Heaven's Wept. Oh, much better. Yeah, she's dying real quick. It's about 33%. Um, so we pushed the Threshold, which is not a problem. Let's go ahead and Charm Immunity. What is Guard Veritas? He's got a Mana Regen buff up, so... He'll uh, regen mana at the end of the turn. Yeah, black diamond dust. And the boss goes immune to damage every time um, you do that. So the boss is immune to damage now. Alright, let's go ahead and provoke again. Ah, uh, Manatopia. Bosch will just Holy Torch the boss, which is going to dispel the boss's uh, resistance buff she put on herself. Now Faze will re-imbue, Sephiroth will discard, and Sarah will retreat command. There's the charm. Oh, the boss healed herself, what a jerk. That's fine, her, her threshold uh, don't reset, so she won't go immune again when we push her. Well, she will, because we're going to push another threshold right now, but the, the one from 80% will not reset. Alright, so let me go ahead and Omni Block to stop those stat breaks. It's a magical cover. Let's Retreat Command, and let's Aerial Dive and push another threshold. Let me push the 66% threshold. Oh, we pushed the 41 as well. It doesn't matter, it's fine. Push, push two, two, two thresholds, no big deal. She's just gonna um, do them twice. twice. There's the black diamond dust and the ice barrier. No big deal. And there, here's another threshold. And then the charm, shooting hail. Shooting hail is the AoE. She does every single turn, physical, below 50%. That's, that's the reason you need Sarah for the dodge. 
Alright, so the boss is immune to the damage, we can't hurt her. So we'll just keep re-imbuing Malphazy. The boss put up that um, Crystal Shell buff again, so we'll just dispel that again with Sephiroth. Uh, we'll provoke... Let's see, we'll cover... To reload her, and let's Manitopia. Alright. Shooting Hail. We're gonna dodge that with Sarah. Alright. Uh, so we're gonna push her. This should push her close to dead, but not all the way. Uh, that was Heaven's Weft, right? Okay, Heaven's Weft. Uh, so here we go. Yeah, we've been doing about about 35% around, so that should be, yeah, real close, real close. We got her next turn. Uh, so we're going to taunt. We're going to cover. We're going to retreat command. And we're going to charm immunity. Alright, so we'll get her next turn. Oh, she's a crystal shell, so she's immune to damage for a turn. Oh, oh, we, we, we pushed the threshold, I believe. That's why. That's no big deal. We just we just uh, postponed her postponed her death for a single turn. All right. Uh, let's omni block. Do that. Uh, we'll Banatopia. I mean, we'll just chain. Just repeat to make it easy. Doesn't matter. We can't hurt her right now. We'll get her next turn. There's a way to do the boss once all these counters and such finish. All right, let's reload again. And she does have her resistance buff up. You see immunity to fire and wind, so we got to dispel that. Uh, so we'll just dispel that with Fina real quick before we attack. And we're going to summon um, Tetra. So we're going to summon Tetra. Wait, one, two, start the animation, and then go ahead and chain. This is a real slow, a real slow Esper. All right, and so we summoned Tetra for the mission, and we also let her land after the boss was dead. That fourteen thousand hit at the very end was Tetra for the kill with an Esper credit. All right, there we go. There's a, uh, it's a budget team. It's using some rainbows, but those are very replaceable. You can use any DPS you want. You can take as long as you want, as long as you got re-raised, which is why we had to bring Fina. And then any magic cover tank is totally fine. Alright, see you guys for the next one.